What up guys, today I want to talk about Fire Mage and why there are so few of them in Dragonflight. Hope you enjoy. The main reason we see so few Fire Mages is because of how limited their viable team compositions are. Fire needs to be paired with a class whose win condition is a stunlock one-shot. And on top of that, that class also has to be able to set up fast, reliable crowd control on cross targets in order to help the mage freely dish out damage during his limited combustion window, which is the main win condition a fire mage has access to. Because of this, pretty much every fire mage is bound to play with a rogue since it is, without a doubt, the best possible arena partner for this playstyle. Rogue Mage is the most famous and, let's be honest, quite overpowered arena comp since the game released in 2004. The reason for that is because these two classes perfectly complement each other's flaws, resulting in crowd control chains that don't fully DR each other, very strong and abundant one-shot windows on stunlock targets, while also keeping the healer crowd controlled and sometimes even the second DPS as well. I believe this is the main reason we don't see more fire mages, because they pretty much rely on a rogue to be viable. However, all of this was already true in past expansions, so why did they disappear in Dragonflight? It all comes down to fire's wind condition being a small combustion window as I talked about earlier. That is now more of an issue than ever, because Dragonflight's new talent trees gave every class in the game more mobility, crowd control and defensive abilities, which means that everyone now has way more access to three different categories that allow for combustion counterplay, either by using the extra mobility to LOS the mage and wait it out, crowd control the mage for most of its duration, or simply use that extra defensive to directly mitigate the damage. All of these flaws in the Fire Mage's playstyle and how much easier they are to exploit in Dragonflight make Fire quite an undesirable spec for solo queue, because, as we saw, pretty much only a rogue can overpower these flaws by locking down a target at will as often as needed, protecting the mage during combustion and complement his already massive crowd control capabilities. But what if you don't have a rogue to play with? What other honorable options are there? In my opinion, Windwalker Monk is a pretty good spec to pair with a Fire Mage, since, like the Rogue, he is very much capable of locking down a target for the Mage to hit, while doing tremendous amounts of burst damage on top of that. Windwalker Monk also has one of the best peeling abilities in the game, Ring of Peace, which will protect the Mage from most melee cleave comps. However, that will not protect him from crowd control. What Windwalker lacks is strong cross CC capabilities, and that is the main factor that does not allow Windwalker monks to get to a rogue's level of compatibility with Fire Mage. Another honorable mention is Feral Druid, which can stun lock a target often, just like the Rogue, has ridiculously high damage potential, both burst and dot based. Also, it currently is the strongest DPS PvP spec in the game, which hopefully will get fixed, but even then, Feral has very limited cross crowd control capabilities when we compare it to Rogue. And even though he can heal the mage a hundred times over, that will not help preventing the enemy team from disrupting his combustion window. Only crowd control will prevent that and Feral is lacking in that department. Fire Mage is a very fun spec to play both has and with and I hope that in the future more classes will be able to play with them at a competitive level. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't yet and as always I will see you in the arena.